Boom! Cześć ludzie! Ok, so today's vlog is going to be różnice kulturowe między Polską a Ameryką Południową dokładnie Dominikan. In English, Polish and Latin America, especially Dominican cultural differences. Długi spacer po jedzeniu żwięta. It is something that is incredible to me because we don't have that. We don't have that in my culture, in Latin cultures. You sit down, you eat, you enjoy, and then you stay sitting or start dancing or start doing something like that. In Poland, after you have a long uh, meal, it's like normal to stand up and go for a long walk. And that is very different to me. So you're out on the walk, you're with the family, you're with the jadki, the babchas, and it's a beautiful to be honest with you, especially like I said in Christmas. Personally, I haven't been fortunate to see a lot of snow during Christmas. Still, you go out, it's cold, but you're also so full, you want to stay in your couch. And I think that's a, that's a very big difference. You know how we do it. You sit down, you put on some music, and then you start dancing. You start dancing all the time. That's what we do. Which leads me to the second thing, which is Polacy. Dlaczego nie tańczycie? Huh? I mean, don't get me wrong, you do your dance, we all know Polones. Dun, ta like you guys dance, you need a purpose for dancing. We dance everywhere. Like if there's a birthday from your aunt, Chocha i Minini, we're gonna be dancing. Bob just gonna be dancing. That doesn't happen uh, in Poland. It doesn't. Now that I think of it, we might even dance at funerals. Kiedy hmm. niño? Kto jest ze niego wejo? Aha. Mamie też rączkę dać? Aha, papie tylko. Latiności kochają kolory. We love color. Look at this. For example, you guys have colors for seasons. Like you don't wear white in winter. You guys have colors like, for example, uh, beige, grays, dark grays, charcoal grays. There are a lot of rules for colors in Poland. We don't have that. You know, if we like orange, we like orange. If we like red, we like red. If we like um, green, we like green. And we just combine them all. And my wife, who's supposed to teach me these words that are so hard in Polish, She's already losing her patience because I cannot repeat Pshes Jin. Pshes Jin. Pshes Jin. Pshes Jin. Also, Bista in Yes Inana. Bravo! <laughs> the understanding of personal space. Completely different thing. For example, I'll give you an example. This is the best example. We get into the car, and my wife's, uh, I'm driving. So, you know, I have something on the driver's seat here. And she opens the, the, the car to go inside. And she's like standing there waiting for me to remove the thing that is in, 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 in the... I have things in my hand and I cannot Polsky. remove those things. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> the, the Polsky audience. I, I just sit there and I'm like, what's going on? Also personal space. Like for example, we can get very close to people uh, just out of the blue and you guys are like, ooh, what is going on? Our understanding of personal space is very different between our cultures. Przestrzeń. Aha. Przestrzeń. Przestrzeń. Teraz porozmawiajmy. Porozmawiajmy. O. O. O wesela. Teraz porozmawiajmy. Por porozma. Okay, porozwa porozwaja. Teraz porozmawiajmy o wesela, ha? This one is huge, guys. Well, in Latin, Latin America, and I'm, I'm gonna stick to, the, stick to Dominican Republic. Yeah. Weddings are an event, as obviously, uh, but it's, it's like a party that starts usually seven o'clock, ends around two o'clock yeah. in the morning. That's it. You have one big, like, buffet. I thought, duże jedzenie. I thought, until I <laughs> went to a Polish wedding. That's something else. I married in a traditional Polish wedding, so I know, I know. 
first time my wife was in Dominican Republic and we went to a Dominican wedding. My brother-in-law was also there. And when they saw the food, they were asking, so is that all? And I'm telling you, those poor Polacos had not eaten all day because they're, of course they were going to a wedding. So they were preparing, they were hungry. They were very hungry. Thank you very much guys. Genkui Barzo, that's the end of it. Um, Tell me, do you like it? Let me have some feedback here. Is it a little bit too silly? What other things would you like me to cover? Um, again, uh, if you enjoyed it, share it with a friend or two. Um, click the subscribe button somewhere up there. Um, yeah, we are, uh, this is a very small channel, very new channel, but hopefully we'll put out some things that you might find entertaining. And um, yeah, give us a thumbs up. Bye-bye.